Oh, I hope you're all okay. I thought I'd share another story with you today. And this one is one of my absolute favourite stories. It's called The Lion Inside. And I hope you like it. I think it's got a really lovely message. So let's have a look. In a dry, dusty place where the sand sparkled gold stood a mighty flat rock, all craggy and old. And under that rock, in a tiny little house, lived the littlest, quietest, meekest brown mouse. He was so very tiny, so incredibly small, that nobody noticed him ever at all. He got trod on, ow, and missed out for stuff, ignored and forgotten, ouch. Yes, mouse life was tough. He looks really sad, doesn't he? Meanwhile, far above on top of the rock, times were quite different. It was lion o'clock. This huge toothsome creature made sure everyone saw how important he was by how loud he could... He was shouty and tough. He loved showing the crowd. He was made of strong stuff. Yes, all were impressed by this mighty king cat. If only, thought Mouse, I could be more like that. Then, late one dark night in his mini mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped into his head. He jumped from the covers and held up a paw. I've got it, he said. What I need is a ball. I mean, what if this mouse with the weeniest squeak was a little more grrr and a little less meek? Well, he'd still be the smallest of fuzziest brown mice, but he'd make and join in and life would be nice. Yes, thought the mouse. I must find out how. I will learn how to fall. I will learn it now. But, gulp, oh my gosh, there is only one beast who could teach him this thing, but might make him a feast. It was time to be strong. Take a chance, after all. Forever was such a long time to feel small. So, he made himself braver and he thought like a winner. He set off to the top, hoping not to be dinner. It felt like the scariest thing he could do. But if you want things to change, you must first have to change you. The further he climbed, the closer he got to the slumbering lion reclining on top. Then, then at last, as he stood on his tippity toes, he found himself suddenly nose to nose. Silence befell the twinkling plain. Lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. Time slowed right down. Why? Felt like a week. And he opened his mouth and let out a eek. That was a magical moment for sure. When Mouse didn't feel at all small anymore, he had found his true voice and learned to speak out. And for that, you don't need a roar or a shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair, 
They both liked the rock better now that the rock was to share. The mouse, while still little, felt big in his head. And lion, he still roared, but with laughter instead. Yes, that day they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside. So there it is, your story for today. I thought it was a really, it's got a really lovely message, hasn't it? So that we've all got a mouse and a lion inside. Have a lovely day. See you all soon. Bye.